Hello everybody, or welcome back for the first time in four months to the 40k lowdown. I'm so glad to be making videos again. Uh, so in this video, I'm talking about how I would like them to bring back Lehman Russ into Warhammer 40k. So yesterday, uh, if you're watching this on the day it got released, uh, Warhammer 40k released on their Facebook page a sort of teaser for what looks like it's probably going to be some Space Wolf releases, probably the, uh, the Codex, and I'm imagining a uh, special uh, Space Wolf Primaris Marines. And there's also some Genie Cults on there, so there's probably going to be uh, some Genie Cults releases. Uh, obviously they need their Codex, and they might tie them in together into some kind of box or something like that. But that's not what this video is about. This video, uh, sorry, the um, teaser got me thinking about how I would like to see Lehman Russ reintroduced into Warmer 40k. Now, I'm not saying that uh, I think he will be reintroduced, I think he's quite a long way down the line uh, of Primarchs who could come back to 40k, but this is just purely the way I would like to see him uh, come back if he was to return. Obviously it's pure conjecture, I don't think that this is actually how they will do it, because I don't know, it's, it's, it's a bit over the top I think for them to do it the way I'm thinking, but here we go. So what I think they should do is have the Space Wolves on this offensive against the Genie Cults on whatever this Vigilus world is. I looked it up, it doesn't really have much going on as far as I can tell. So the, they're there um, and sort of the Wolf Storms are going on as they are, the Grey Rift and that. Um, and Lehman Russ comes out of the Warp um, as sort of this Wolf and thing because obviously when he disappeared it's sort of widely accepted that, uh, or as far as I can, it's widely accepted that he was going to turn into a wolf, and um, that's why he didn't. You don't want to like be embarrassed or shamed, I suppose is a better word, by becoming a wolf. And so he comes out as this wolf and thing. Obviously, he's, he's been in the warp for a long time. Um, so the space wolves uh, accept him uh, as this sort of wood. As their uh, as Lehman Russ as the Primarch, but large swathes of the Imperium um, of the Space Marines and High Command don't accept him as Lehman Russ, or they, they may accept that he's he is Lehman Russ, but they don't accept him as um, the Primarch that he once was. They don't accept him as sort of a leader, uh, someone who they want to accept back into the fold. So the Space Wolves are shunned uh, even more than they already are in the uh, current timeline um, along with uh, sort of their successor chapters. Um, um, so then the Division, there's sort of infighting and stuff and there's, there's other loyal uh, chapters and legions other than uh, the Space Wolves and their successors amongst the Imperium. So there's there's some infighting and the Imperium sort of in disarray again um, because of the uh, sort of the again the infighting in within the uh, command structure. So because of this uh, sort of inaction in the Imperium, the Indomin Indominus Crusade sort of falters somewhat. Um, and this leaves the door open for a massive chaos counterattack. Uh, so this is bigger than like the Black Crusade. The uh, they claim key Imperial worlds uh, like uh, Armageddon, uh, perhaps like Badab, stuff like that. Possibly even like uh, the Rock and Katachan and Riser. And the, there's the doors open to sort of destroy any of those worlds, any of the key ones, sort of near uh, the Great Rift. Um, and so, because obviously the, it's a counter-attack, uh, Gilliman and massive parts of the, uh, the Ultramarines are not on McCrag, and obviously this leaves the door open for McCrag to be assaulted again uh, on this counter-attack. Uh, so McCrag sort of is not as well defended as it could be because the Ultramarines are out crusading, but and it, it's on the brink of falling. Uh, because obviously this can't defend it well enough against this huge unexpected counterattack that they couldn't have prepared for. And sort of out of nowhere in this Deus Ex Machina moment, uh, Lehman Russ um, sort of appears with the Space Wolves, with his loyal Space Wolves, uh, to sort of just save McCrag from uh, total annihilation. 
Um, and then, because of his clear loyalty, um, Gilliman accepts him, uh, High Command accept him, uh, sort of most the Imperium then accepts him as uh, a loyal Primarch, uh, someone who does deserve, deserve to be taken back into the fold of the Imperium. And obviously I think there would still be some uh, opposition within the Imperium, that's only going to be natural, I think that would be a good way to move the story along in that way. Um, but a reason, the reason I think this would be a good way to reintroduce him is that, for one, it would be an amazing model, like, just a, a crazy huge wolf and Lehman Russ, maybe with some strange war, uh, like, alterations that have gone on in his time. Uh, but that, obviously that would be an amazing model. Uh, it would also sort of bring some hype back to the Space Wolves, um, Obviously, people have been getting really annoyed that they've had to wait so long for the Codex. I think that would be just an insane way to get some uh, interest back into the Space Wolves, just appease the Space Wolf players. Um, but apart from just the Space Wolves benefiting, I think it would be a benefit to the Ultramarines, because obviously people are always like, oh, the Ultramarines always win, they're just the, the best, because that's the way they've been written. And I think this would be a way to make them not win because they're not there and the ones that are there just get destroyed, they get decimated um, and they're actually saved by another chapter, one that doesn't necessarily adhere to the Codex of Stardis. Um, and that could be a sort of turning point for the uh, Ultramarines where they're not strictly uh, Codex of Stardis co uh, what adherent Obviously, I think that's wildly unlikely. This obviously all this is just a wild conjecture, um, but I think having them saved by the Space Wolves would be a good step for them to uh, not be as hated as they currently are um, in sections of the wargaming community. Um, so yeah, that's the sort of way that I would love to see uh, Russ reintroduced into the uh, the game. Obviously, it's unlikely. I think unlikely is a stretch. I think it's it's more than that. I don't think they will re just introduce Lehman Russ, but this is how I think they should do it if it does. If you think this is a stupid idea, let us know in the comments. If you think it's a good idea, let us know in the comments. I just want to hear your thoughts. Um, who, did, which Primarch do you think will actually be reintroduced first? Because I think we are going to get another Loyalist Primarch, uh, but who do you think it's going to be? Thank you very much for watching this first 40k lowdown video in a long time and I'll see you again soon hopefully.